trends right now in Australia in nails? What, what are we going to see coming out in winter? We're seeing a lot of negative space right now. So negative space is where you might paint just the free edge or just your moon of the nail and leave okay. the rest of the nail just with a clear nail strengthener. So or you might put the moon in a colour yes. and the rest is just neutral. Yes. Oh. Or the opposite way around. So you have just the, the cuticle, I mean the moon area. Yeah left clear and then the rest of the nail painted as well. Right, that must um, be quite hard to paint. It, it definitely takes a bit of practice. But a skill. Lot, you can use things like, uh, you know the binder rings that you get, you can stick those on your nails. Okay, oh yes. And yeah. give you a little bit of a, a shape that you can go around. Right. So it's easy to maintain at home, like yes. to create at home, just yes. play. Just have fun. To be honest, I have stopped doing my nails at home because it's so economical here in Sydney now to get your nails painted professionally and they do such a better job in such a shorter time. It's kind of a no-brainer to go out and get them done, right? <laughs> I mean, do a lot of girls still paint their nails at home? There's definitely an art to doing it yourself. There and is. I think it's always still something that you should try and perfect right <laughs> because you never know when you're going to have to do it that's true you know if you are i'm a disaster when i have to paint mine it's like maybe if one you get day an invite somewhere and you're not yes ready for yes. it okay so maybe you're more prepared than me because i'm usually that person that's running around painting her nails in the car well you clearly know <laughs> how to do it unlike me <laughs> if you so can't do it traffic lights no yeah. one can. <laughs> traffic lights oh, i'm you know. really really bad painting my nails and pushing back cuticles and all that kind of thing my whole manicure gets done in the car i try you should see my car i've done my <laughs> lipstick in the car i've done some makeup in the car but nails no as i said i can't even do them in the house let alone the car <laughs> Wow. So what are some tips for doing your nails yourself? What would you... The, the preparation is really key. So making mm -hmm. sure that your nail surface is completely clean. Pushing mm -hmm. back your cuticles. Um, the easiest... What about, sorry to interrupt, what about cutting your cuticles? There's lots of controversy about that. Well, the cuticle is there for a reason. So it's there right. to protect your nail. Right. Um, and the health of your nail. That's where all your nails are re replicating and producing the cells. So if you expose that area to bacteria by cutting away the cuticle, you actually are more susceptible to infections and mm -hmm. things like that. So, so avoid be careful cutting your cuticle. So be careful these cheap nail places. Yes, yeah. don't let them cut down. Definitely. Um, but best time to push them back is after a shower. So when they're all mm -hmm. nice and hydrated and soft, mm -hmm. just use the corner of a towel and, and push them back oh, gently then. Easy. Um, okay. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, so you might need to use a file and just go over the surface of the nail a little bit just to make sure it's smooth but never ever high gloss before you're going to put your nail polish on a lot of people get out that satin buff oh yes or the high gloss Mistake. buffer if you make the nail too smooth the polish has Won't nothing stick. to grip yeah. onto that makes sense so um best not to do a high gloss file before you actually apply your lacquer okay um, on the toes a little bit more you can get away with a little bit more um roughing uh just to make sure that they're perfectly and smooth Okay. Now tell us about gel nails. It's a big trend in Australia right now. I know I've been getting them done because I do a lot of sport and it means I only need a manicure every 10 days or two weeks, which makes a big difference. I've got small children, but is it not a good thing? The most important thing with gel nails is the soaking off. So make sure right. that you get them removed properly. Don't bite them off um, or, you know, peel them off yourself because you are going to be peeling off layers of your own nail. But they're great because you can do all the things that you need to do yes. with kids and wash up. Hands and in water all the time. All of that Swimming, kind of thing. All, yep. that kind of thing. all of those. And yeah. the chemicals don't, don't affect it so much. But um, there are, again, products out there that are better than others. So yeah. Yeah. just be aware of what's going on in your nails. Okay, fantastic. One of the funniest stories is um, we were there to do pink snails. We brought all our, you know, we've had, in OPI there's 240 colours, so we, we bring yeah. all our colours. And um, she pulls out her little Brand X, 